Ben, you made the call uh, when this happened. Do you regret it now a few days later? Do you have any regrets about publishing this entire document? No, absolutely not. We're proud we published it. And I feel three days later, it seems clear that it was the right thing to do. If you look at how much more we know than we knew three days ago, and I think in three months, it'll look even clearer. What is it more that we know now that you believe justifies the decision? We know this saga that dozens of journalists, intelligence officials, elected leaders knew of a, British, of a, Brit, a former British spy cre creating this document, handing it over to the FBI, John McCain handing it to the FBI, of briefings which Jake Tapper and your team got an amazing scoop on, of the CIA briefing the president and the president elected. This is really of an incredible fight at the highest levels of U.S. power, but away from the eyes of the American people over this document and over the claims that, as in the headline you showed, the claims that CNN and many, many other outlets reported and repeated. And I, I guess our, our call was that the, in the first instance, it, once you have the document, as we did and many did, and we... When did you get a hold of it? I'm not going to say exactly, but weeks before we published it. So you've it. had it for weeks before CNN published it. Yes, and we, story. like you, I think like you, like certainly other outlets who we ran across in the reporting, were staking out, you know, were staking out places where we thought we could get information in Europe, were running it down every way we could. And, and at some point, you know, as Harry Reid is sending a letter based on it, as government and powerful officials are taking little actions based on it, not just, not just sort of seeing it, but acting based on it, I think there becomes an argument, should you print it? We were having that conversation internally. We had not certainly, we're not close to doing that. But then I think when hmm. w your great scoop puts not just the fact of a document, but claims attributed in your reporting to a source seen as credible, and specific summaries of the claims, into public. I think, I think everybody's obligation then is to say, well, here are the actual claims. We're well, not just going to summarize of the claims, them. CNN was very careful not to share those details. No, because what they do you mean? I saw in that headline, the headline is claims he was compromised by Russian intelligence. That is an incredibly explosive claim. And to say, you and I have here between us a secret document with explosive, dark claims, and we don't, we, you guys on the other side of the camera can't see it, but we can. I don't really understand. I guess I'm sort of interested, actually, in because I, I see the case for reporting it out and not sharing it. I see the case for saying, here are these claims, here is this document at the center of the fight, take a look. I think I actually don't see the case for the middle position. I actually thought, I realize you're not a spokesman for CNN. The middle position and I don't is mean to put journalism. You, no, the, the journalism that we were all doing was, was to try to verify the claims. Once you repeat them and put them out there, but to not share the underlying documents. But the, the actual claims were not put out there. The story that CNN uh, the published I and the saw, story the New York Times the published said I just that saw. this was a, a topic briefed to the president-elect and that that's what the news was. The headline that you just put up was claims that he was pro compromised by Russian intelligence. But you're conflating these two the way the Trump aides have. What, what you're saying is uh, you all published the claims. No, CNN did not. And neither did the New York Times or the Washington Post or others. That he was compromised. Nobody went into the, these sordid details, the details I agree. that you all put up on the web.